No code is changing the way that we build apps and websites, and it's making things possible for ordinary people that used to only be possible for coders. Here are four platforms that you need to keep your eye on if you're planning to build a no code startup, like a no code SaaS. First of all, we've got Glide here, and Glide is perhaps one of the quickest to get started with. In fact, you can build some sort of dashboard CRM based app, both as a web app and one that you can get through an app store, and you can do that in a number of hours. The downside to Glide is probably the flip side of its ease of use, which is that if you have a very easy to use platform, it's going to be drag and drop components, big components dropping in like table here, set of buttons over here. But with that comes an inability to really customize design beyond changing colors uh, and a few other minor changes like that. But Glide is a fantastic place to start. Uh, next on my list, I've got Flutterflow. And Flutterflow is probably the go-to no-code builder that I recommend uh, for people who are majoring in on native mobile apps, whether that is for iOS or Android. At the moment, my favorite no-code platform, Bubble, which is coming up next, doesn't have a native mobile app builder, but they've promised one for 2024. So until then, and until we can really put the new Bubble mobile app builder through its paces, Flutterflow is the place to go if you're mobile first in terms of uh, app store. Uh, but if you are building a web app, then there is no better place to go than bubble.io. And if you want to learn more about Bubble, click the link down in the description because we've got hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos where we can take you right the way through from beginner to building an AI-powered app in half an hour, 30 minutes. Uh, but Bubble is the platform for building web apps. So that's uh, apps that you access through your browser. That doesn't mean that they behave badly on mobile. You can make very responsive web apps. You can even uh, add the web app as an icon to your phone. The problem is you're not going to have any offline access. Next up, we've got Toddle. Now, we've known the guys at Toddle for a few months now. And in fact, we met them at a no-code meetup in London a few weeks ago. And I think Toddle is best summed up uh, perhaps in the statement that they made to us, which is Toddle is where people arrive when they reach the end of Bubble. Now, I'm all in with Bubble. Uh, Bubble is a platform that I find very easy to use. I've been using it since 2017. Uh, and Toddle certainly does have many impressive features going for it. And I'm I'm sure that there are many things that you can achieve with Toddle that you can't do with Bubble. Uh, so Toddle is well worth checking out if you are just beginning your no-code journey and you want to dive right in on the advanced capability end. And you might find traditional no-code uh, app development platforms like Bubble to limiting. And then lastly, Comnico. Uh, again, uh, I met Stuart, uh, who's the founder of Comnico uh, in London a few weeks ago. And since then, he's given me a few amazing demos of just what you can do. Now, you're not going to be able to build like a front end, back end, uh, like you can with Bubble or you can with, with Toddle, although Toddle is more kind of front end. Anyway. Comnico is all about really powerful backend. So if you wanted to, uh, like in Bubble, if you're doing backend workflows, and there are just some things that are really struggling with Bubble performance-wise, scalability-wise, then Comnico is great. In fact, uh, two features that I'd recommend in Comnico, uh, which just gives you a taste of what is possible, is the ability to generate PDFs based on a Word document. You can do that by setting up your own API call. So you can send data from your Bubble app or your no-code platform of choice through to Comnico, and you can then have a PDF sent back. You can also do the same with uh, email. Uh, HTML. And if you've ever touched email HTML, you'll know how tricky it is, how frequently it goes wrong. Uh, but Comnico's got that covered for you. You can create an email template in the, in the visual builder and you can supply data to it and you can get all of the HTML back. And then you can send it off to the transactional email provider of your choice, something like SendGrid or Postmark. So anyway, there is my roundup. If you're excited about no code and you want to join the no code community, maybe you're stuck with your bubble app and you could do with a little bit of one to one support, or you just want to browse through high quality bubble tutorial videos. All of those you can get by clicking the link down in the description and heading over to our website, planetnocode.com.